Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Wednesday to you guys. I think it's Wednesday. I do this every day. I really do have my days kind of clouded. Yes, Wednesday. Yes. So, I just wanted to say thank you, really. Uh, yesterday marked my two-month anniversary of starting my YouTube channel, and I can't believe it's been two months already. On one end, I feel like I've been doing it for a long time, but on the other, I feel like it's all brand new, and I've just met so many really awesome, amazing people on this journey, and I just can't thank you guys enough for being here and supporting what we're doing. It's so awesome getting all of the tags on Instagram and comments that you guys are making our meals and our food and just enjoying your keto journey. And if our food can make it a little bit easier for you, then we're super happy to be able to do that for you guys. My day has been mostly computer work. I had some photo studio work to do, so that's what I've been doing most of the day. I actually am getting ready to go do a family photo session. So I'm waiting for Jen to pick me up. And the way that the timing fell, Dan actually just left to go pick up the boys from school all by himself actually the first time that he's going by himself to pick them both up pick up is crazy pick up is crazy if you are a mom you know that school pickup no matter where your kids go to school or how it's handled is always an absolute chaotic thing so I'm sending good vibes to him that it goes smoothly it's a very small school only like a handful of kids but at the end of the day, everybody's tired and kind of melting down in the little lobby there. So he's going to have to try to get both kids to the car by himself without incident. So, fingers crossed and Godspeed to Dan. I know he can handle it. I'm secretly hoping that someone helps him <laughs> if they're being crazy. I'm sure they will. Everyone there, all the parents, all the staff, everyone's super nice. So I am doing just omelets and sausage for dinner tonight. Nothing crazy. Dan said that he was craving breakfast for dinner, so we're definitely going to do big fluffy cheese omelets. I don't know if I'll show you guys cooking that because it seems kind of silly to like show you how to make eggs, but maybe we'll just get on and chit chat with you and just show you what our plated dinner looks like. I really... I'm humbled by this whole experience. I never could have imagined that in eight weeks time, my channel would have almost 11,000 subscribers and my Instagram is about to hit 10,000. It's really just, it's beyond my comprehension. So we love you guys so much for being here and for being with us on this journey. And we just can't thank you guys enough for taking the time to just be here with us and be a part of our little community. I hope you guys are having an amazing Wednesday. I hope that you have something delicious planned for dinner. I wish we had something a little bit more epic planned for dinner, but when I have these evening shoots, I don't get home until like eight o'clock. So it's a little bit late in the night to be doing like this whole grand to-do of food, but I'm starting to feel a cheese omelet. It's starting to sound good to me. See how that works? The brain is a powerful place. So I'm going to go finish getting ready. I'm going to pack my camera bag up and then I'm going to go do a family shoot with Jenny. See you guys later. Okay, this is probably going to make you guys laugh. Of all of the things that I cook and all of the things that I show you, do you know what gives me the most anxiety when it comes to cooking? The thing that makes me second guess myself more than anything else? An omelet. Mm -hmm. Eggs are so hard to cook and they're so hard to cook the way that you intend them to be. So a lot of times I will say that I'm going to make an omelet but I end up chickening out and doing just like over medium eggs or fried eggs or something simple like that. So I'm sitting here wrestling with myself trying to decide do you want to make an omelet or do you just want to make some damn eggs? Omelet. Omelets are hard. They're, they're really hard. It's hard. Whenever I make an omelet, I make her one and it lo always looks awesome and I'm like yeah I got these down and yours will be scrambled eggs and then mine looks like a big old pile of stuff they're just hard they're hard to flip they're hard to cook evenly I'm also I think you guys have gathered that I'm a picky eater 
Like, I like food just so I need things cooked a certain way. Like, I am a huge brat when it comes to food, which is part of the reason why I do steamroll in the kitchen, because I just like food the way that I like it. Eggs is a really good example of that. Like, you've never in your life met someone that is pickier about scrambled eggs, eggs. than I am. So, like, the first time I used, the first time I made her scrambled eggs, I used milk because that's what you use. Now, mind you, this was like, f like four years ago, five years ago, I whenever we started not seeing each other. Like dairy products. I made them with milk. All up in my eggs. I made them I just with milk don't because like it. because listen, when, I'm that's from, what restaurants I'm from do. the south. It's like, like normal. You, you throw some milk in there and they get all nice and fluffy and delicious and they're awesome. She made me throw them out. She's like, I don't want that. I know that makes me sound like a giant ungrateful bitch. I just, I think scrambled eggs especially is one of those things that you like them how you grew up eating them. So like I like my dad's scrambled eggs and my dad doesn't put milk in scrambled eggs so I just don't like them like that. They taste almost too aerated to me. I like it just to be an egg. Am mm. I weird? Am I a weirdo? Air. You can tell me I'm a weirdo. Aerated eggs. So we're sitting here having this conversation that you don't even need to be hearing because I'm trying to psych myself up to make, she's gonna make a fucking omelet. She's gonna, don't say the F word. I had to. You're gonna get a thumbs down. I get them anyway. That's fine. That's true. Me too. For nips. I'm gonna say it. I love Trigger nips. everybody. Nips. My nips are here. You train. Nips. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Okay, so I'm probably not going to show... Maybe I'll show... If it's a disaster, I'll show it. If I do a good job, I will just take a photo of it. But just know that I will be taking deep breaths and attempting an omelet right now. Eh, stop. Anyone want a husband? Here you go. <laughs> they all want me. He's free. <laughs> they just want me to In cook In fact, for them. I will pay you to take him. How much? Four dollars. And a case of bang. Nope. Four dollars. No, because I get half the case. I'm going to need it. This is a bad deal. Like, for me. I make out like a bandit. Mm -hmm. Do I get the four dollars? No. Is Whoever like, has to take your ass gets the four dollars. Is that like my plane ticket? <laughs> Can you get a four dollar plane Get him ticket? out of here. So, oh. I just thought you guys would like to know. I'm being courageous, and I am going to attempt the omelet. Omelet, omelet. Dan kind of psyched on. me out, and he was like, um, what do you mean you can't cook an omelet? So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to cook an omelet. I'm going to cook two omelets. Bet you $9 million, one will be beautiful, the other one will be garbage. Guess who eats the garbage one? Daniel. <laughs> Breaking news. Okay. So I've done the first flip, and in a perfect world, an omelet probably looks like a crescent. We never do them that way because it just never works out. Oh my god, I'm gonna have an anxiety attack. Oh my god, and you guys are watching. Oh. Here it comes. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. Okay, okay, push it, push I'm not it. mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. So much wasted cheese. Okay. Save. The cheese. Oh well, it's all gonna cook. So it'll be like this little like egg pocket thing. This is gonna be Dan's. I already know that this is gonna be Dan's, and I will try to make mine prettier than this, and to not have, I don't know, dysentery coming out of the side here. That's called the cheese avalanche. I tried. Mama tried. There's a reason that egg cooks at Denny's make twenty dollars an hour. They don't though. Yes, they do. The people that work at Denny's, the egg people make the most. Really? If I'm wrong, tell me, but that's what I've been told by someone that works at Denny's. Yeah. Oh. No. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, you should have chef flipped it. Very All right, cool so that's Dan's. My omelet committed suicide. Who? I told you. So, in an interesting turn of events, the first one ended up being the prettier of the two. This one looks like it came out of a gas station. So guess who gets to eat this one? <laughs> this is Dan's. <laughs> so the good news is even ugly omelets 
taste good too. Right? It's a good life lesson. Your eggs may not be visually appealing, but it is one of the most keto nutritious foods that you can eat. So try to make an omelet. If it turns into scrambled eggs, guess what? You still did it. You still made dinner. I got the prettier omelet. Dan ate the one that looked like it had a head and I think it was delicious. <laughs> I ate in like 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. I shovel eggs in my mouth like I've never had food ever. And those of you that have been keto for a while, I hear sometimes that people are like sick of eggs, but we kind of feel the opposite. Like when we're needing just a really super keto meal, eggs is our go-to. Like I just, I really cannot get enough. I love eggs. Let's find out how Dan's omelet was. How was your omelet? Nice. And did it matter that it was not the most attractive omelet in the pan? I don't want to show them out. It's just eggs. You're wrong. Okay, so now I'm starting to realize that I may be a weirdo, that I need my food to be visually pretty to be satisfied. I probably need therapy. Okay. <laughs> On that note, I hope everyone has an awesome evening. I have a really, really cool vlog planned for you guys tomorrow. I am not going to give away a spoiler, but what I will tell you is that it corresponds to all of the questions about showing before and after photos of me. So expect a cool before and after vlog tomorrow. Have a great night, you guys. We'll see you then.